Dustin Young, Loam Roamer. Today, we're gonna install airbags on the Tundra. Now, I have a pretty nice setup on this truck, uh, and I do have the Icon um, hydraulic bump stops, so those are gonna have to go. The reason is the deck system, the gear, the camper, the solar has all added up, and even though I have the max leaf pack, I'm beyond the 750 pounds, which should have kept the truck level and everything rode well, so I'm sagged out a little bit. And while I could probably go do custom rear leafs, what I don't wanna do is get into a ride quality situation. And for now, I'm just gonna put the bags in and leave them independent. So I could do small leveling at camp because I have an onboard air compressor. So uh, if it's just small adjustments, I can make them without backing up on the boards or using any of the leveling blocks. So I'm gonna try that as well and see where it goes. So this is just step one in an airbag build. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna put an air tank on the truck anyway. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to do some kind of, you know, in-vehicle wireless solution or in-vehicle solution so I can air the, air the airbags up without having to use the manual compressor, but, but rather a switch that gets built in the truck so that's a future build that's going to go on um, i'm going to use firestone airbags uh, made in the usa uh, i like the way firestone works i looked at a couple other options um, i don't like how they mount plus one of them uh, i don't remember the i'll put a link in the description while it's for a tundra it actually uses the existing upper bump stop bracket that the the uh, bump stop hits um, and it's gone because when you want to do a hydraulic icon bump stop solution you have to take those out which by the way was a lot of work so um, Firestone doesn't need that I don't have that problem really simple so I'm gonna walk through the process a little bit as I go but right now I'm gonna show you what I did I, I did some prep work uh, because the truck is lifted about four inches total uh, with the, with that bigger leaf spring in the back um, that comes down a couple to get level again I am gonna use these Daystar cradles I don't know if you've ever seen these before but essentially what they do is the airbag sits in them so that as I'm articulating when I'm off-road the airbag can actually leave the solution right and so you get this ability to have the airbag do that while you're going down the road which I think is great now here's the brackets that came from Firestone here's the two inch spacer that I already put in so I got this ready to go um, I don't think anybody wants me to put two bolts in it seemed boring to make people watch two bolts uh, so these are ready to go um, you simply use the bolt to the top that bolts to your spacer that bolts down you're done now we are ready to go with that component. I've got all the bolts laid out. Um, I'm gonna get the truck ready. I'm gonna get the truck jacked up on stands, get it ready, and then we're gonna go through the airbag install. So let's get started. All right, so fuel pump regular has to move. That is a 12 millimeter, should be pretty simple to pull out of there. Pop that off, slide this out of the way. There's a bracket that uh, comes with to move it. So we'll get that done at some point. This piece still has to come out. It's part of that other system. There we go. All right, with that apart, we can now get these settled in. I think it came with three or three and a half inch bolts. I went to four and a half. You probably could have got away with four. I just wanted to make sure by the time it was all said and done, I didn't have any issues. Big trick here is gonna to be to lift each side safely and get the airbags in. Because I had busted off all those frame rivets, to install the hydraulic bump stops from Icon. The lower rivets are gone, so I'm gonna put bolts in place to make sure that bracket does not spin. 
if you take, you'll know when you go to put it on because you'll see holes instead of big old rivets. You'll need a 15 16 to tighten the nuts, to tighten the nuts up on top of those large uh, kind of through bolts they use to air the airbags up. I just tighten them up and realize the camera's off, but just get under there with 15 16 and tighten those things down pretty tight. All right, so these are what go on your airlines on top of the airbag. They come with uh, what look like some kind of gasket. I am still gonna add liquid sealant to the threads before I put these in. It is 12 millimeters. Went to tighten it, realized it wasn't gonna work right. There we go. Okay. Now we can put this in place. So I'm running the airline, it comes with this red airline, and I'm gonna put them in on the ends where they belong. Push that all the way in as tight as you can, okay? Then I'll zip tie these up. I left a little extra so I could do some additional work later. I'll take that other one, babe. Okay, so we're gonna leave all this extra. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it later. Since I don't know exactly what I wanna do, I'll just zip tie this in place. It's not gonna hurt it. What you're gonna do is take these. I should probably pay attention. Okay. The one on the passenger side should go to the passenger side. And you just push these in nice and tight. That's all you gotta do is take these and they bite in there. Okay, and now you can see they're nice and snug and put together. So now, what we can find out, can I air these up and will they leak? We're gonna put a little bit of air in each one, okay? Heck, we ain't even to 20 pounds yet. Yeah, it's lifting the truck. Says to run them up to 70 to check for leaks, but I think I'm gonna wait until I get it on the ground with the wheels in place. Actually, I think we're gonna run it up to 70 while it's sitting just like it is. In case I get it, take things apart. So you want to spray soap and water and look at your fittings. I have no bubbles. Of course, nothing coming out of there because I checked those ahead of time. Make sure they're factory tight. I'm not seeing anything change. We're gonna spray underneath real quick. No bubbles on that one. And no bubbles on that one. That is what I would expect. These fittings usually work pretty good. You'd have to have a bad fitting. Well, I need to do a few things. We gotta get the wheels and tires back on this thing. Uh, then we have to get it off the jack stands. And uh, I need to uh, torque the uh, nuts on the 
I got new nuts in there I gotta put on since they're stretch nuts. Uh, whenever you loosen the nuts on your U-bolts uh, uh, that you use to hold your leaf springs on, it is a good idea to replace them. They are, uh, the way they torque is they stretch, that's why there's such high torque uh, on them. And uh, make sure you use Loctite Red because you do not need those coming loose out in the woods. So I'm gonna zip tie this into here for now. It's not gonna be the best, but what you're gonna get is a place to just quickly slam some air in uh, if I need it. But I'm gonna make a bracket to bring that forward quite a bit. Uh, I got some extra aluminum from another project. And uh, I think that's what I'll do for now until I come up with a better solution. So we'll just have these sort of how they are for now. And uh, last but not least, I'm gonna go clean this up, put it away, and then uh, wheels and tires and bolts, and we're out of here. In here, see this piece hanging is a fuel pump regulator. I have a bracket to relocate this thing. So you're gonna take parts that it comes with. You're gonna put that together. Now, I'm gonna put it back roughly in the same, if I can, the same order. Can you hold that in place? Well, that looks better, okay. So we're gonna tighten this up this direction. All right, folks, it's a, uh, I'll take a picture of this. You can see the direction in which this was put on. In order for this to end up in about the same place. I'm sure nobody wants to watch me put wheels and tires on a car, so that's uh, that's the airbag system installed, no leaks. Now we'll make adjustments as we go, but uh, I'll do a write-up on, on the process. If you've already done an Icon lift and you've got the hydraulic bump stops, it's a little bit of work because you got a few extra things to take apart that you wouldn't have had to touch. You'd, you'd, most thing you'd had to do here was cut some rubber and kept going. It probably would have saved me 45 minutes. This whole project start to finish, if I'd had the right parts, I could have done it in an hour and a half because um, I didn't have the parts and driving, going to get the bolts I needed because of the, the change in leaf spring packs. I got the big Icon leaf spring pack on there. I'm um, in about two and a half hours, so not too bad, but uh, definitely a little bit of work. Um, and I did it, in the, as you can see in the sun, um, pretty warm today, but uh, can't get the truck in the garage anymore with the camper on it. Check the size of this thing out. Uh, so uh, yeah, we get to do things outside when it's hot sometimes. Hope everybody's having an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you out on the trails.